Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore first impressions. I started off with it being first impressions and then I kind of tried saving this look because it went kind of downhill. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will just catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I collected a few drugstore goodies that I'm dying to try out. We have a lot of Rimmel, Revlon, a few Pixi products, CoverGirl. Okay, if you guys see my lash glue, I apologize in advance. I know it's kind of grody. I tried taking it off. Okay, going into our little makeup bin, I will be trying out the Revlon Colorstay Brow Kit, and this is in the shade Soft Brown. So it has a wax and then your brow powder and then here you have like a little angled brush and spoolie. Okay, so first things first, I need to brush out these brows. I'm not gonna use this thing because it's way too small. It's like uncomfortable. So I'm just laying my brow hairs flat, just going in with the brow powder and filling in the sparse areas of my brows. And then of course, if they're not perfect right now, and I'm going to go in with concealer and shape up my brows and perfect them. And we're just cleaning up the edges of the brows. All right, so that's how my eyebrow looks like. It doesn't look it doesn't look bad. Um, I'm going to quickly fill in this side and then we'll get back to business. So I do have a Rimmel concealer, but this one isn't my first time trying it out. I already have this in my collection. I just don't have a new concealer to use. This is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour, 25 Hour, Breathable Concealer. Looks like this is just like a really natural, everyday-ish pro- Whoa, it like, ew. I don't know if you guys see the applicator, but it like dried up at the tip and now it's like all crusty and like super hard. Okay, that's not sanitary whatsoever i'm gonna have to remove that i think one of the most satisfying things in doing makeup is applying concealer on your eyelid for the eyeshadow palette we're using the rimmel london magnifies spice edition it's like this eyeshadow palette and as soon as i saw it i knew i had to film a video with it because this is like the perfect fall palette and i never used a rimmel eyeshadow palette before so we're just gonna try this out and see how it goes um, for the first shade we're gonna go in with the second one right here I am just taking that eyeshadow straight into my crease. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with this like camel brown color. I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E25 blending brush. We're focusing this color right into the crease. Okay, so so far these eyeshadows are really nice. Like they're blending out, they're pigmented. I'm gonna take this color right here. This is a BH Cosmetics number 8 brush, so it's a little bit smaller, it's more of a flatter, uh, fluffy brush. I'm kind of actually focusing this on the outer corner. It's okay if the outer corner is messy, we're going to be cleaning that up anyways. Alright, so for the next color, we're going even deeper and I'm going to use this shade right here. We're going to take that into the outer corner. We're also going to be smoking this out. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with that Camly color and I'm also going to mix this shade right here. Tap off the excess and then we're just going to place that on the outer corner just to help blend all these shades. All right, so this is called Passion Light, and this is their Liquid Fairy Light, and it's basically a liquid eyeshadow that you just put on top. What I'm going to do first is go in with this eyeshadow right here just to test them out and see how they look on the eyelid. Um, right here. I'm going to go in with that. I'm going to just grab one of their little brushes that came with the palette because I just want to try out their shimmers. Oh, it's actually not bad. I thought it was going to be like chalky, but it's like a really subtle shimmer. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go in with this dark, cool toned purple. I'm going to keep it like on the lower part of my lash line and outer corner. Okay, now clearly I have fallout. It's looking messy. You grab a makeup wipe and 
I'm just gonna clean up all that fallout, all that mess. And I'm gonna see if I can make a sharp line with my wipe. And then I just kind of clean it up. Yes! For mascara, I have the Rimmel Curve Alert Scandalous Mascara. It has a slight curve to it. The brush is huge. I was not expecting this. To be honest with you guys, I'm not a fan. I just don't like brushes that are this big. Like, it's so hard to get to the root of your lash. And I just feel like I'm going to poke my eye out if I use this. Um, also, it doesn't really make my lashes look like anything. It just coats them black without really adding much length or volume. Okay, so I was dying to try this primer out. I have the mattifying and the hydrating. As you guys know, I love the infallible line. So I'm going to try out this infallible glow lock long wear illuminating primer. Sorry that you guys see my nails underneath these fake ones. Oh, that actually feels really good. I'm going to take these tips off because I wanted long nails for Cabo. But now I'm getting kind of over the long nails. I just want my natural nails back. This primer is very... I thought it was going to be uh, like a dewy primer, but it's just really, really moisturizing. I'm going to apply a little bit more onto my forehead. That feels so good. It just like melts right into your skin. I like this. So I'm going to feel it out. I'm going to wear it a few more times. See how I like it. But so far, so good. All right. So for my foundations, I have these Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Mousse foundations. And I have three different shades. This also has been sitting in my like makeup I need to use bin for the longest time. So finally, I'm getting around to filming with these. I've never tried Rimmel foundation. So I don't know what to expect. I'm really hoping that I'm gonna like this. Does it? I, don't know, I feel like I'm, for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna get the L'Oreal Total Cover um, foundation vibes. Like, I feel like I'm gonna get something like that. So, this is the shade Porcelain Ivory. I'm gonna just, ooh, it is a really thick, look at that. It is so thick. Oh my gosh. That is so dang thick. I think that's my shade too, actually. How is this porcelain ivory? It says it's a lightweight shine control foundation. Silky smooth formula leaves a perfectly matte baby soft finish. It says that it won't feel heavy or greasy, so we're gonna see. And I'm gonna do one half of my face. I don't know if you guys can see, it's really hard to tell, but you can see how cakey it looks on my skin, like around my nose. It just looks really, really cakey, and then it's clinging on to like my little dry patches. You can see all my peach fuzz, like it's not doing my skin any good. I kind of want to take it off to be honest with you. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to do it. I do not like this foundation whatsoever. Okay, so I took the foundation off just because I, I'm not gonna, I'm actually, like, I actually hate these, so I'm not, I'm not gonna use them anymore. I really enjoy the Sweat and Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It was only $6. I am in the shade, which one? Soft Beige, and it does me so good, so I'm gonna just use this one because I'm honestly not in the mood for, like, a super full coverage matte look, so we're just gonna use this. We're just going to use a beauty blender and just blend this right into the skin. And then to conceal underneath my eyes, I'm going back in with the Rimmel concealer. Okay guys, I'm not loving this concealer either. It's already settling in my fine lines and not only that, it's like not blending out in some areas, which is really weird. Okay, to set underneath my eyes, I'm going in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Loose Powder. Alright, so we're testing out this powder. I love testing out new powders, especially if they are drugstore. Before we do go in with powder, you want to make sure that you go back in with your sponge and blend out any creasing that may have already happened. I'm going to dip my little beauty blender into the powder and press that underneath my eyes. And then to blend out the bake, I'm gonna just grab a brush. 
Oh. Guys, it's actually not bad. Going back in with that camely brown eyeshadow. I'm going to take that along the lower lash line. So then I'm going to go in with the darker eyeshadow and go as close to my lash line as I possibly can. I'm not sure if I'm loving this look right now. So let's see how it goes. Um, I'm going to do some winged liner just because I didn't think I was going to, but I decided I think it might make the eye look a little bit more put together. All right, so this one is from CoverGirl. It's really, really nice. It's like really skinny. And then I'm also going to take this uh, infallible black gel pencil. You guys, I'm changing up this look so much. This is totally not what I had in mind. But I'm just going to go with it. I'm just smudging that black eyeliner into my lower lash line and waterline. Okay, I'm going to take the darkest brown in the palette and then use that to also help blend out this eyeliner. To be honest with you guys, I was so close to just turning off my camera and washing my face. But if I can try saving this look, I'm going to do it. Because I don't have any fake lashes from the drugstore. So I'm just going to be going in with the new Bounce Some Lashes. These are in the style Dragon Lee Mini. And if you guys do want, I have a 20% off coupon code you guys can use. It's just Tanya Chabon. And that will save you guys some money. Okay. So now that I have my lashes on, I feel way better. I've really been enjoying the BH Cosmetics bronzers. Uh, this is in the lightest shade. This one is called Golden Gal. Um, so I'm just going to grab a powder brush and start bronzing up the perimeter of my face just to bring some warmth back into me. And as you guys can see, like, dang, like, my bronzer looks so good. It looks so, so good. It's, like, not too orange for me. Love it. This is the Revlon. It's a Revlon Cheek Draping Palette. And this one is called Sunset on Pluto. I really like the middle blush color. That's what I'm going to be using today for my blush. I'm just going to tap off the excess because I really don't know how pigmented it's going to be. Okay. <sighs> this is what I am most excited for. So these are the Pixi by Petra Glow. Like these are the highlighters basically. So I have two different kinds. One is Subtle Sunshine, the other one is Delicate Dew. It's just so pretty. I feel like these are going to be so intense. I'm going to go for this more golden-y one. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Um, the Oh, my gosh. It's so pretty. The more you apply it, it doesn't look powdery or anything. It just, like, melts into the skin and it just gets more intense. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This might be my new favorite drugstore highlighter. I can't believe I'm saying this. You can apply it and you can make it look more natural. And then you can keep building it up and then it starts looking super, super wet and dewy on your face. Before we do lips, I want to actually just spritz my face. This is the Revlon Photo Prep Set Refresh Mist. Uh, you can use this before or after makeup. So we're going to try this baby out. Smells good, feels really refreshing. One thing I don't like is the mist. It's kind of broken, so it's like spraying differently on my face. But if it's really refreshing. Oh, that feels good. So for my lipstick, I think I'm going to use this one. This one is called Revlon. It's the Matte Power Move Lipstick. I love the formula. It's really like a creamy, comfortable matte. And then to line my lips, I'm going to use the Flower Beauty beauty petal pout lip liner this one is in the shade plum all right you guys and then this is the finished look it was a rocky start but i'm pretty pleased with the outcome of this video i don't know we'll see when i'm editing the footage but i feel like i was all over the place i'm not sure what to call this look but I don't know i hope you guys like it today has just been really honestly i'm going to be real with you guys today has just been such a hard day for me it just wasn't my favorite you know it's just 
I felt very unmotivated and uninspired and I just kind of wanted to lock myself up in my room all day but I just knew that that wasn't gonna do anything for me so I decided to turn on the camera and film a makeup tutorial so I really hope that this video works out and that you guys enjoy it I don't know what else to say but I really love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next video bye